Oh, finally made it over that lava. Okay, what, through here? Here we go. Really gotta get out of this place. Mm. Oh no. Uh, the timer has started. You have four minutes to get out. Oh shit. TNT, this is not good. What does this say? The music. When the lights go dark, you will die. Oh shit. Let the tune save you. What tune? Oh, the one at the start. Okay. What was it again? Dun 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 dun. Oh. What was it? This one. Oh, I need something to mark it. No. Must be some clues around here. Oh, there's the sky. Uh. Okay, tell me what's going on. What's going on? time sounds like yes oh and here's a path oh that was close hey Oh no, I'm only up to the last one. I don't know what it is, I can't get out. Come on. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Open up. Anything. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Come on! You stupid button! Just... W oh no! Hello everyone and welcome to another Byron Quest Friday. Uh, this is episode 10, the season finale, and uh, what you saw there and what you see now uh, blown up everywhere was the final request. And this one was made by... Well, it's actually from two people, Headshot Maniac and Ramiro no Gomez. I don't know if it's the same person, but either way, they both asked for the same thing. Next work next week I should make a TNT bomb with a timer with the display and a way to defuse it. Which is exactly what I did. I'd like to get more requests on my Facebook, so make sure you do that. Uh this is the season finale, but don't worry, there will be more in a couple of weeks. Uh just need to take a break. I've been doing these every week for ten weeks now, which is uh really good. So let's uh let's go back a little bit in time and have a look at this thing before it got completely destroyed. Okay, hello everyone, and now that we're uh, a little back in time and everything is put together, I can explain uh, how this works. Basically, uh, this is all linked to my adventure map at the moment. I'm thinking about uh, keeping all of this stuff, and when I make my real adventure map, I'll be putting it all together. Uh, but for now, when you come into the room, <coughs> We have two pressure plates here. Now you can't see them because I got rid of them because I don't want to set this off again. Uh, when you go over the pressure plates, it starts a whole lot of things at the same time. Uh, as soon as you walk in, it closes here. We have, uh, I don't want to break it, but you can see from the top, 
you can see that sand there there's actually two pistons one on both sides and what happens when I step on the plate it sets both pistons to open and it shoots uh, all the sand down there blocking your way out so as soon as you walk in you're trapped it also starts a timer which you have four minutes to do uh, at the same time it also there's uh, a little thing down here now there's a couple of places where the notes play but here we have the note sequencer dun 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 whoa dun dun so here we have the note sequencer and here you can see where so it goes through the sequencer it goes through here here we have uh... it's an RS Norlatch attached to an AND gate and it actually functions uh, sort of like a monostable circuit where it will because of those plates you can stand on for any length of time uh, I didn't want to make it so that it sends more than only a one button press pulse uh, so it's kinda messy but I just kinda threw it together instead of setting up a, a monostable, monostable circuit just because this is easier for me and I don't really care about uh, keeping things compact on my test world and then we go through this massive length of repeaters. Now, the way I got the timer to work, it uses a five five torch display. Uh, we've got this massive array of torches here, uh, and here, this construction we have here is it's a five step um, RS NOR latch array, and it basically it relies on the RS NOR latch before it being on before it turns on the next one. It's kind of like a sequencer. So if I press, uh, this is the reset button. Uh, it all attaches to this block here. And if I get rid of that and let's put a button there, just for the sake of testing. Um, it's kind of hard to see. You can see those four, five torches there. One, two, three, four, five. Every time you press this button or every time uh, a pulse comes through this button one of those lights is going to turn on see now we've got the end light press it again it goes to the next one up press it again it goes to the next one up and basically it goes like that until it goes all the way up and so what I have actually is I've connected it to this massive array of repeaters now this array of repeaters is about 45 seconds or so. Uh, so after the initial run that comes through here, it will set off this uh, repeater line. And now it is it does just go in a loop. So if we put a pulse here, like that, this is basically what happens. And this pulse will travel all the way around until it gets back to here and sets another electrical pulse through to this uh, conditional RS NOR latch array because it relies on the one before it and like I said it takes about 45 seconds and using that using this this loop and this array allows us to get five different uh, outputs at five different intervals and which is what makes up the timer now obviously you don't have to use a 5 torch timer like I have used here uh, you could even set this up to a massive uh, digital display if you want but I didn't think that would look too good in like an adventure map I guess it would be cool but they're kinda hard to read and this is uh, certainly a good a good way to show a timer now when it gets to the last of the timing right down the bottom uh, I have now all of these are obviously hooked up to each of those torches over there when it gets to the bottom one it also sets off this torch uh, which will turn this torch on once this is on obviously it sets off the TNT that would have been sitting here I got rid of it just in case because I don't really want to blow up all this hard work uh, this is my normal save and not the backup so that would be a really bad idea so when when that sets off the TNT, everything goes kablooey uh, when it gets to the end, and which is uh, about four minutes and thirty seconds. I wrote four minutes on here just to uh, increase the drama a little bit. Obviously, just the BRF is just for design. Uh, now these buttons here, we've got nine of them. They're all connected, obviously, to note blocks underneath and they're all connected to this 
Now, this I actually got from Minecraft Addict. It's, uh, you can see one of his signs here. Um, I built it myself based on uh, one of his tutorials, and it's a nine, nine button combination lock. Uh, this is a lot of work. Uh, to build from scratch, but uh, it's well worth it. It basically works similar to the uh, conditional Aris Nor latch array, but um, what it does, uh, you can actually change which note uh, or which which button uh, that you input. He actually just had a display of nine different buttons, and you press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever. And but it works exactly the same as if you have a pressure plate. It doesn't matter which way you do it, and you just set which buttons you want to press uh, in which sequence and then once you press the correct sequence it will change the output now the output is actually underneath here uh, you can see the output line goes from from out here down here and underneath now what we have underneath is yet another set of um, it, it connects to here so we actually have three sets of note blocks we have a set here to play at the end. We have a set here to play as each button is pressed and we have a set over here to demonstrate uh, the song every time you step on these pressure plates. Now we probably could have done some tricky wiring to make it so that it plays the same set all the time um, but I didn't want to do that. That would have been <laughs> a lot of work. The way it works now is once you press the correct combination it'll send a trigger that unlocks uh, it'll send a, a, a positive redstone pulse through this array here uh, of note blocks and then once it goes through there it activates a whole bunch of stuff at the same time so let's play the tune this if anybody noticed was actually the prelude of light it's uh, an ocarina of time song and you can see here there's pistons behind here so that allows you to go up here this sand would actually have fallen down so I could walk out there if I want and at the same time as it does that it also opens up uh, there's a piston up the top here now in the what I showed there was a water block up there obviously I didn't want it to come out now because it would have wrecked all these torches but when the when the correct combination is put in and the piston opens up the water falls down washes away all of this redstone so even though the timer will continue and the timer will finally count down to zero all of this redstone uh, and all of these torches are going to be gone so it won't set off any of the TNT that is still in this room and at that point we can certainly tell the user to go back and get the redstone that's left on the ground and maybe they can use it in a further uh, further part of the adventure uh, you can even make it so that uh, you can go up through the water up there to get out and certainly there's the way out so there it is it's a a timed musical combination lock with TNT and everything everything that was asked for uh, certainly took a lot of work but uh, it was certainly worth it I think this is a great f season finale for BioQuest Fridays I hope you still put in the comment section your ideas for the next season of BioQuest Friday. I want as many comments as possible, many requests, uh, because I do love doing this and I will get back into it uh, as soon as I can. I do need to take a break. I'm getting quite uh, exhausted of doing these every Friday. Having a schedule like this means I have to get these out, uh, which has been really good for me making sure that I can do that. Uh, but I do need a break. I want to get an adventure map done and that's going to take quite a lot of work if I want to put as much work as I can put into it. So make sure you like this video, make sure you share it around so I can get a lot of requests for Season 2. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel, I'm going to have a lot of new content, different uh, walkthroughs, maybe some sneak peeks into my adventure map as I make it. Um, and it's going to be really exciting, I'm looking very forward to it. So don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for downloading a save. And until the next video, thank you for watching and my name is Jig, bye.